So I'm stuck in traffic, and I guess this is as good a time as any to make another video. Uh, a very happy Easter, and or happy Passover, or whatever you celebrate to you. Um, interestingly enough, I um, a few miles back passed a, uh, a truck full of sheep. No joke, full of sheep. So it's kind of uh, festive and a uh, little bit humbling, you know, to see sheep right before Easter, but... Um, I hope you watched my previous video entitled uh, Useful Information for Everyone. It's, um, I, I mean, I got very excited about that video. I was, I'm very passionate about that subject and the things I was talking about. So, um, check that out. And I want to share some more information with you. Um, since I'm driving all day, and it's kind of what I do, and uh, as you can see, I'm the blue collar worker. <laughs> might think driving is not work it takes a lot out of you loving what I'm loving what I do but at the end of the day man I'm worn out okay a lot I've heard a lot of people say that uh, they probably couldn't do this and I don't know it somehow fits for me but anyway um, what I wanted to share with you is if you drive in a let's say an average size city or really any city or out in the country if you drive on a regular basis of doing um, just you know going to work or going to your errands and around town and things like that um, if you listen to educational things uh, all the time in about uh, a period of three years you can get the equivalent of a two-year college education now that's the kind of stuff they don't teach you in school because they want to take your money to go to higher education and nothing wrong with that if that's what you want to pursue they can prove that you learned something but you know there's plenty of people with degrees and you know uh, there's doc the people with doctorates and, and everything else that don't have a lick of sense no offense to anybody <laughs> but we all know it's true so um you could take the time to learn about something very interesting, something that uh, you don't know anything about, you know, foreign languages, uh, philosophy, psychology, the list goes on. Uh, listen to classic books and you might find yourself uh, appreciating the stuff that bored you uh, that you had to learn in school. Um, I finished an um, audio uh, recording of Moby Dick recently. Actually, very good book of uh, I uh, listened to the version read by Frank Muller, and he, he's masterful. It's and it's a, just a beautiful work, and a very, a very a mythological work and a, a, an epic work as far as far as American authors go. And uh, right now, I'm, I'm going through the Divine Comedy read by Heathcote Williams. Very, uh, very difficult, even to, I mean, of course, to read, but to listen to. I'm going to have to uh, read a version of this to get any kind of understanding of it but um, I've heard in a lecture once once you've read the poem you've re you're ready to read the poem so interpret that as you will <laughs> but anyway there's uh, if you do that every uh, if you listen to something uh, just regular driving for about three years like I said you get an equivalent of two years of college education and for the time I've been on this job I've learned quite a bit from reading and listening and uh, traditional reading is something that a lot of people think they don't have time to do well how many times do you go uh, number two uh, in a week well <laughs> that's everybody's favorite place to read and um, also uh, if you just take 20 minutes a day you can finish about 2200 page books in a year and you could you, you probably could figure that in somewhere go to work a little bit early and um, you know read for 20 minutes or you know uh, read on your lunch breaks or whatever um, and hey if you got kids read to your kids if you know I would highly recommend you doing that and you know and if your kids are older you can maybe read the same books that they are and you, you can have a good discussion with them that's a I mean, it's a great uh, parenting to do that and um, I mean you want your kids to learn so why not learn right along with them I mean the more we learn, the really the I don't want to say the better we become, but a lot of successful people have just a thirst and a hunger for more knowledge. They want to keep on going, keep on going, get more, get more, and that's really what it's going to take. Along with hard work, education is the key. 
So I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you didn't, well, I'm sorry for you. <laughs> but anyway, uh, have a wonderful holiday, and I will see you next time.